Rev up your engines! Today I'm going to explain the difference between horsepower and torque in a modern day engine. Now to begin with, a modern engine creates energy by gasoline burning inside the cylinder and the pistons moving down pushing power. Internal combustion engines change the potential energy of gasoline into kinetic energy of motion because you want to move the tires to get going. Now there's all kinds of formulas for that but really I'm a mechanic you're driving your car here's what you need to know. Torque is the rotating force that an engine creates. Now as such torque is a good measurement of the turning power that an engine has. So if you have an engine that has a lot of torque it can accelerate quickly because it's got a lot of turning power. That's what made Harley Davidson motorcycles popular. They got a V-twin engine that doesn't have that much horsepower. Some of them only put out 50, 60 horsepowers a few years ago but they have a lot of pound foot of torque so they can accelerate really fast. Any engine that has a lot of torque has a lot of acceleration for taking off. Now these are internal combustion engines I'm talking about and they need to get to a certain RPM to get full torque out unlike let's say an electric motor that has instant full torque all the time as soon as you turn it on. So an electric motor has instant full torque. That's why that fastest Tesla it's faster than a quarter mile than a Dodge Hellcat engine is because it's an electric motor and their torque is there. The charger has to rev up pretty fast before the Hellcat engine gets going where the electric motor you took the switch on and boom away it goes. But if you want pure speed then we're talking about horsepower rating. Now horsepower is also a measurement. It's a better measure of how fast an engine can go. To go back to the Harley Davidson analogy if you take a modern 1200 cc Harley it has 71 horsepower but it has 75 pound feet of torque and that particular engine uh, it struggles to go over 100 miles an hour pretty much 100 miles an hour as fast as you want to take it but you take a 1200 cc Suzuki Hayabusa engine that thing is another story it's not a v-twin engine with big torque it's a straight four cylinder engine that has a whole bunch of horsepower instead. It has 156 horsepower, not as much torque compared to the horsepower. It only has 95 pound foot of torque. So the ratio is a lot lower than Harley Davidson. Harley Davidson actually had more torque than it did horsepower. The Hayabusa has tons more horsepower than it has torque. With that extra horsepower instead of torque, the Hayabusa can go over 200 miles an hour. The older ones did. I'm using the older one and they started to modify them and put limiters on them so they can't go too fast for some governments made laws. You can't have a motorcycle that can go 200 miles an hour. But all that extra horsepower lets it go a lot faster. And if you really want to go insane with speed and horsepower, take a Formula One race car. There's one out there that puts out 792 horsepower, 260 pound foot of torque. Quite a difference between that. <laughs> but they want horsepower because they want speed. They don't accelerate all that well, but they have a lot of horsepower. If they start from scratch, they start slow because they don't have the torque, but they got the horsepower. Once they get spinning, they got speed galore. They want to keep that speed up. So if you want to relate this to everyday life, you want to understand what kind of torque and horsepower you want in a vehicle you're going to drive. Let's say you're going to tow a bunch of stuff. Well then you want a heavy torque engine. Diesel engines put out good torque and that's why you see a lot of diesels used for pulling things, towing things, snow plowing. They've got the torque to push stuff around and pull stuff. And let's say you want to get a motorcycle and you're the type of guy who likes doing burnouts, taking off real fast. Hey, you might get a V-twin like a Harley Davidson, but if you really want speed in a motorcycle, hey, you're going to go Japanese, multi-cylinders, high RPM, and insane horsepower. And conversely, if you want a car that gets good gas mileage and you just like driving around, you get a straight four-cylinder engine. It'll get good gas mileage. Modern engines put out enough horsepower. It's not like the olden days when a little bitty four-cylinder put out 50 horsepower. Yeah, they even make four-cylinder engines now that put over 300 horsepower. But if you're the type of person who likes heavier acceleration, you'd probably be better getting a V configuration engine like a V6 or a V8. It's got more torque 
it's going to take off quicker. So now you know the difference between horsepower and torque and what it means for your driving. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.